This is home link 5.9 of everyday math, practice with decimals. Your child has been using the metric system to practice measurements and to convert centimeters to meters. The following equivalencies will assist you in helping your child solve problems 3 through 6. 1 centimeter equals 10 millimeters, 1 meter equals 100 centimeters, and 1 meter equals 1,000 millimeters. So, if we take a look at this, the first thing we have to do is um, find the pattern on this number line here. And this number line is going to the right here. And all of these numbers, I notice, if I look, we start at zero, and we go until eight hundredths. Well, eight hundredths is just eight little part, eight, eight tiny parts here of a whole, of a whole flat. So I'm going to use that to kind of think about this. And let's see, I have one, I bet I can do two hundredths, three hundredths, four hundredths, five hundredths, six hundredths, seven hundredths. Yep. So I'm just going to count by hundredths and use that pattern. So I have three hundredths, four hundredths, five hundredths, six hundredths, seven hundredths. And for this one, I notice it's starting in tenths and it goes to one and five tenths or one point five or one and a half. I'm going to try counting by tenths, point eight, point, uh, let's see, eight tenths, nine tenths, uh, ten tenths, or one, and then one point one, one point two, one and three tenths, one and four tenths. I think that will work. So zero point eight, eight tenths, zero point nine, nine tenths, and this is going to be one, this is ten tenths, and then, and there's our secret decimal. If you want to put it there, you could even add a zero after it, if you wanted to. Okay, and now this is going to be one and one tenth, one and two tenths, one and three tenths, and one and four tenths, and that equals the pattern, one and five tenths. Now, follow these directions on the ruler below. Make a dot at seven centimeters and label it with the letter A. Well, I know this ruler is in centimeters, so I have to find seven. There's a dot. I'm going to label it with A. Make a dot at 90 millimeters and label it with B. Well, I know that there are 10 millimeters in a centimeter, and it also tells me that up here. So I'm just going to count by tens until I get to 90. 10, 20, 30, 40. That means there's been 40 millimeters so far. 50, 60, 70, 80, 90. Right here. So there's 90 millimeters there. And so that's going to be B. Now make a dot at 0.13 meters and label it with the letter C. So 0.13 meters. I know that there's 100 centimeters in a meter. So this is 13 hundredths of a meter. Well, 13 hundredths of a meter is going to be 13 of these centimeters here. 13 hundredths of a meter. So I'm going to find 13 centimeters, because I know that there are only 100 of them. So I can do 13 hundredths, and that's going to be the letter C. And then make a dot at 0 0.06, or six hundredths of a meter, and label it with the letter D. Well, if 13 hundredths of a meter is 13 centimeters, then six hundredths of a meter is going to be six centimeters. And I'm going to label it with the letter D. And that's what that should look like. And then down bottom here are some practice of the times tables. So hopefully students are still working on those and still practicing them. This is Homelink 5.9 of Everyday Math, Practice with Decimals.